I don't give a shit. You don't, do you, Jake? You don't give a shit about anything. It's alright for you. Take off, do what you want for as long as you want. That's okay, because good old Damien will take care of business. Damien will handle the old man's crap. Damien will make sure Jake doesn't get in too deep. And when Jake has had his fun, he'll come home and his dad will slap him on his back and ask him how many country girls he's got his ending with. And then he'll joke about it and tell all his friends he takes after the old man. Hey, I never asked you to do anything for me, and if you don't want to put up with my old man, then maybe you should leave too. Who do you think runs things, Jake? Your dad? He spends all his time chasing after wife number six. I am the business. Me. And you think I'm going to let you and little Miss Muffet through there come in and take a major slice? You can forget about it. You need serious help. You know that. And you need a reality check. If I offered her money not to be with you, she'd take it. When did you become such a dickhead? Ten thousand, I reckon. That'd do it. You're wrong. We'll see. I can't leave my job, George. Yeah, you can. You just quit. People do it all the time. How can you ask me to do that? This, this job, for the, the first time in my life, I've got people respecting me. I've never had that before. Ever. Don't ask me to give it up. What about what your kids are giving up? I feel a lot better for my kids than I was living with my parents. Okay, one day they'll understand that. What, what about me? What about you? Do you think either one of the men who gave me those children asked what I wanted before they walked away? You know, I spent my whole life bending my back over what men decide. And I won't do it anymore, George. What? I'm not one of them. What more do I have to do to prove that? Stay. What for? You got a raise. You can afford daycare. You don't need me. To become, you can be a little intimidating. You always talked about the kind of man who could approach you, speak his mind. One who wasn't afraid to tell you what he wanted. I did. I did, Reed, but I wanted you to be there, man. I was waiting for ten minutes outside your door. Ten. <laughs> waiting for you to come and find me. Why didn't you say something? That would have kind of defeated the purpose, wouldn't it? And I'm saying it now, Reed. Really.